Hey guys, I am doing a video on the Natasha Denona Lila palette. I keep wanting to say Lila every time I see that name because I know someone whose granddaughter's name is Lila and it's spelled like that, but it's Lila. So um, I'm going to do some swatches. I have not even used this on my eyes yet, it just came today. Um, all I did was take pictures of it for my blog and swatches and stuff so that I can get my blog post together for when I do actually use it. I'm sorry about the shadows, I'm trying to get this lighting situated. But this palette is the same size as the Sunset one. So the Sunset one was gold, this one is purple, and I I'm glad that I didn't get the Natasha Denona um, blue and purple palette, the 28 shadow palette, because I have the, um, uh, what is it called? <laughs> I have the green brown one. This is like my holy grail eyeshadow palette. I love this so much, but I kept saying mm, eventually maybe I'll get the purple blue one because I really love purple eyeshadow. That's like something I had to break myself of was using purple eyeshadow constantly. <laughs> so I ended up getting the green brown one. That was the first Natasha Denona palette that I got and I fell in love with it. And that's why I'm so obsessed now. So this one has a lot of purple shades in it. So that's why I'm very glad that I didn't get the, the larger um, blue purple one. So I think I'm just going to lean this up against my tripod. Actually, these... This is the one thing that irks me about her palettes, and I can rip it off, but I don't want to rip it off and then have the, uh, end up losing this thing and not have the names, because I never keep the boxes, um, and all the names are on here. So I think what I'm going to do is just fold it back, because you can fold it back all the way, which is nice. So just like the other palettes, this part is all, like, foam, but it's, like, heavy-duty thick foam, and it is a magnetic closure. Um, I do wish, like I was just talking about, I wish she would just put the names of the shadows on the palette. It would make it so much easier. But other than that, um, I think this is going to end up being my new favorite because I really like the Sunset palette. Um, and the only other one I have besides the green brown is the Star palette. Now this one I tend to not grab for that much because it's got a lot of shadows that you have to use your fingers for like this one all the ones that are chunky glitter uh, don't really want to pick up on a brush so I tend to use my fingers for those and they make a mess but still a gorgeous palette um, I love this as a transition shade as you can see it's a mess because the glitter shades get everywhere but um, that's probably my least used one. It is my least used one. <laughs> Not probably, it is. So I'm going to do some swatches. All of the textures, just from swatching this once already, they are like buttery smooth, amazing. I can tell they're going to blend well, but um, like I said, I haven't used this on my eyes yet. I cannot wait to use it tomorrow. I already did my makeup today. Um, so this first color is called Per Se. This is a matte shade. And it's like a uh, taupe with kind of like a purpley lilac tinge to it. So that's that. You know what? I, will, I don't have any primer on my hand or anything. I'm going to do uh, brush swatches right next to it. Right next to the finger swatch because I know everybody seems to like when I do that. So what brush is this? I'm just going to grab a Mally brush that I have sitting here and some wipes because I'm going to end up making a mess. So this is Per Se with a brush swatch and no primer. I probably should have used primer because these are going to look like they don't work. The mattes blend so nicely. So that is Per Se. Um, I'll do them in sets of threes. So the next one is Layla and this one is like a metallic deep burnt sienna color. It's a really dark brown. It's got like tiny, tiny copper glitter sparkles in it. I wouldn't even call it glitter because they're just tiny, tiny micro sparkles. And then I will do a brush swatch right next to it. Yeah, I totally need 
to put a primer because this is not going to do them justice and I probably I'm going to get a flatter brush too because I'm using way too fluffy of a brush here so I'll use my hard candy primer I have to pay attention to what time it is because I have to leave to get Aiden from school soon um, all right so I'm gonna put some hard candy primer on my hand and let's do it this way I'm just making a mess now. That is Layla. Metallic, really deep brown color. That almost has a tinge of purple to it too. Like I said, it's a very uh, purple toned palette. Okay, make sure I don't get my brush all wet. Um, this one here is Juno. This is a very light metallic lilac color. It's more pink than uh, purple. That was with no primer, and then with primer, I keep <laughs> forgetting to put primer on my hand here. So with primer and a brush swatch, this is a real dinky brush, I shouldn't have used this one. That is Juno. Then this super fun row of colors, we have Viola, or Viola. Um, this is a really bright fuchsia color. You can see it on my finger. It's like purple and then pink fuchsia. <laughs> fuchsia is a blend of like purpley pink, so it's almost got like a blue shift to it. And then with a brush, uh oh, I just got that wet in there. That's not good. I don't like getting shadows wet because then they end up getting the hard pan stuff on them. So that is Viola or Viola, whichever way it's pronounced. This one is that super bright, fun purple color called Amethyst. And that is like a metallic, it's not super metallic, but it's definitely got shimmer in it. Let me grab a different brush here. So, as you can see, it's this super pretty metallic violet gorgeousness. And purple colors are really hard. They're up there with like reds and yellows for what colors are hard to get pigmentation out of in eyeshadows. And this one, these are not swatching as great with a brush, but I can guarantee you they're awesome on the eyes because all of her eyeshadows are usually like this. They don't want to pick up. So that is Amethyst. Then we have this like rosy mauve color called Livid. This is another metallic shade. This one's so pretty. All of these colors are like crazy gorgeous. do a couple layers of that one because it's so that is livid my hand is gonna be all red by the time I'm done with this I'm gonna try and fit two swatches <laughs> per, per uh, turn here all right then we go on to Amara this is a matte. There's only a few mattes in here. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, this is like a reddish brick color. Brownish red. And I put way too much on there, but very nice matte shade. And I'm making a mess of this here. So that is Amara. I'm probably butchering some of the names here, but <laughs> they're hard to pronounce. Oh, I said I was going to try and do two. Let's put a little bit more primer than usual here. Alright, then we have Magnetic. Magnetic is a really vibrant hot pink. I wouldn't really call this one metallic. That's more like a 
satin shimmer shade. I'm hoping my camera is in focus because I've noticed the past few videos it keeps going out of focus and I don't notice it until I'm editing and it drives me insane. So that is magnetic. Then I'm going to try and do another swatch right next to it of Purpure. <laughs> Purpure, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, this is another metallic shade. It's like a rose. Oh, I love this one too. These are all so pretty. Another crazy pigmented. See, it looks blurry on the camera. For some reason, if I hold it right up here, it's not uh, blurring. So let's do the brush swatch right next to it of Purpure. It's P U R P U R E, so I'm assuming that's pronounced Purpure. All right. Then we can move on to the next row, which that first color, oh my god, I'm so excited about that one. All right, so this one is Cyclone. This is a duochrome metallic like orange that shifts a pinky red hold on look at that it's so pretty it's almost like the orangey shifting shade in the Too Faced glitter bomb palette but of course not chock full of glitter so I like this because it's more like everyday wearable type color And I love anything duochrome, so, so pretty. The light hits it a little better up here anyway, so you can see the effect. All right, and then we've got uh, Magnolia. This is a metallic peach. This is another gorgeous color. This, I can tell I'm gonna use this a lot as an all over lid shade. Look at that. No, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. And then we'll do brush swatch. Ugh, of course the air conditioner just kicked on, so it's going to be loud. So that is Magnolia. And then Dragon Bite. I thought this one was really cool because I have a shade that's almost exactly like this in my Pretties for Your Face line. It's called uh, Big Bang. So this is like a, it's another duochrome, it's like a brownish red base with a turquoise shift to it, a turquoise shimmer in it. So hoping that you'll be able to see it. So pretty. It's a very, uh, one of those colors you don't see all the time in palettes, you know? I don't think I have much primer on this part of my hand, but I'm going to put this right next to it. It almost looks like a totally different color when you swatch it with the brush. The brush doesn't pick up the deepness as much, but that's really pretty. That is Dragon Bite. So last row, we have two mattes and a metallic here. So Nude Vino, this is a matte brown, like a warm and I just forgot to put primer on my hand, so that's that's a no primer swatch. Sorry I'm so inconsistent here. Alright, try to get it everywhere so I can swatch properly. Um, nude Vino with a brush. Uh, my brush is a little bit wet again, I hate that. That one's going to be a little bit patchy because the brush is still damp. That is Nude Vino, just a matte, warm brown. And then Nude Mauve, which is, it's not really that mauve to me. This is more of like a taupe, like a grayish taupe. Because to me, mauve usually has more pink in it, and I don't see much pink in this one. But let's try this out. I 
Nude Mauve. And then the last shade down here is another one of my favorites. This is Helio. This is like a metallic rose, like a light pinky rose shade. Look at that. Another gorgeous all over lid shade. I like that there's so many in here that are like quick, uh, just throw it on your whole eyelid shadows, like this one. This would be a nice all over lid shade and definitely the metallic peach. Um, so that is all of them, brush swatches and finger swatches. Um, I have not, like I said, I didn't use this on my eyes yet just by swatching it. I love all the colors. There's none that really give me any problems or anything. Um, there's no, uh, I did notice that about this one, there is no uh, chunky glitter shadows in here like in her past few palettes. Um, so I know that was, usually when I watch videos of reviews for Natasha Denona palettes, that's everybody's biggest complaint is the chunky glitter shades. Um, I usually, I don't have an issue with them as long as I apply them with my finger and like as long as I have a sticky base on my eyelid. Other than that, they kind of make a mess in the, <laughs> in the uh, palette itself so you have glitter everywhere. That's not going to happen with this one because there's no chunky glitter shades. There are some metallics, there's duochromes, um, but they're really pretty. So I always get asked, are these palettes really worth the money that they are? And <laughs> my answer to that is no eyeshadow palette should be as expensive as these are and I know there are ones out there that are probably even more expensive but if any eyeshadows had to be priced that high these are the ones that you would want to be priced that high because they are like top quality best eyeshadows I have ever used I like these better than the Visar or Viziar or however the hell you pronounce that. I have one of those palettes and it's honestly not as amazingly great as I thought it was going to be. Um, I prefer the Natasha Denona ones. I love them so so much. I wish I didn't. I really wish I didn't because <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't have bought any more of her palettes. But I did get mine off Beautylish. I like that Beautylish has the little the payment plan that you can pay it in three installments that makes it a little easier on the wallet. Um, but this is a gorgeous palette. Like I said, this is going to be my new favorite one from her. It's so pretty. Um, and it's purple, so I love purple eyeshadow. If you have brown eyes, you probably love using purple eyeshadow all the time too. Uh, so I'm probably going to be wearing purple a lot. Uh, I will include this in a in my next favorites video if it turns out to be one of my monthly favorites which I'm sure it will be uh, and then I can talk a little bit more about it because by then I will have used it on my face <laughs> so that's it for now I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you next time